Jung Hoon is a good student. Who is also smart and handsome. He is always at the top in nationwide exams. Very popular among the girls. Some girls are also flirting with him and even asking for his number. But, he ignores them. He is still too young to handle any kind of relationship. In his classroom, there are various types of students. One of his close friends is actually an attention seeker to the girl. He even tries to give his number, while the girls actually ask for Hoon's phone number. There are also some naughty students. They like to bully the other students. Because of that, some students actually don't like them. But, they cannot do much because they are also stronger than the other. They always do and get what they want. But among them, there is an unusual girl. She is unfriendly and very mysterious. She likes to cover her face with her hair. No wonder everyone is scared of her and even mock from behind. They always call her curtain hair because of her hairstyle. One day in the classroom, the naughty boy's leader, Tae Gyu, seems bored about his day. He is seeing a girl with a short skirt, dancing near him. With his phone, Gyu puts his phone under the girl student's skirt and takes some photos. The girl is very angry and scolds Gyu. But, Gyu ignores her. She cannot do anything other than that. Gyu with his friend, even mock her panties color. Hearing that, Hoon cannot hold it anymore and stand up for her. Hoon asks Gyu to delete the photo. But, Gyu still ignores him, seeing him as a nerdy who can't do anything. It turns out that Hoon suddenly kicks him. Gyu and his friend don't believe it. With a chair, Gyu tries to attack Hoon brutally. But, he can dodge it easily and even beat him up. Everyone in the class is shocked about what they are seeing. Then, suddenly the teacher comes and sees what happened. Hoon and Gyu gets caught and punished by the teacher because of fighting on the school. Because Hoon is a smart student and the teacher loves him, he only punished both of them to clean the classroom after the class. When Hoon is about to come back home, he sees his close friend standing outside the room. Hoon comes to him and asks what he is doing. It turns out that he is peeking at a girl, swimming in the pool. Hoon is also curious and peeks into the room. The girl is suddenly coming out from the pool, and he can see her sexy body. This is his first time seeing a sexy girl, and he likes to see it. After some second, they see the face of the girl. It turns out that she is a curtain girl, De Young Lee. Hoon's friend doesn't believe that she has a sexy body. He just knows that she likes to read some criminal books and novels in the library. Suddenly, Young realizes that someone is watching her secretly. Hoon's friend hides quickly. But, Hoon is not. He is freezing. They are looking at each other. Hoon even ignores his friend's alert. On the way home, Hoon even cannot move on from what he was seeing. The next day in class. While Hoon is focusing on the lecture, he gets a message. It's from Young, asking if he watched her yesterday. Also saying that he is Privet. Hoon tries to ignore the message. But, she keeps sending messages and even thinking that she is not his first victim. Hong panics and replies to the message, saying that he happened to be passing by. He also swears to God that he didn't enjoy it. Apparently, the teacher is in front of Hoon and forcibly takes Hoon's phone. He even reads the message conversation from beginning loudly. Everyone in the class is laughing. Now, everyone is about thinking of Hoon's true identity. Including Gyu. Then, Gyu is mocking Hoon. Asking that, does he enjoy it? Gyu says that he has some other pictures of her, wanna see it? Hoon turns around and looks at it intently. Gyu is not afraid and even mocks him more by asking, do you wanna kill me? He even gives a knife to him. Hoon is also not afraid of him and even takes the knife. Act like he will stab him. Suddenly, their classmate sees it and warns Hoon not to do it and leaves them. Then, Hoon is also leaving. Several minutes later, Gyu got stabbed when no one is there. Then, Hoon, who is going back from the toilet, couldn't believe seeing Gyu is blooded. He approaches him and tries to wake him out. But, Gyu is already dead. He also sees the knife there and checks it with his hand. Then, he is shocked and freezing. Suddenly, Yoon comes back to the class and sees that Gyu is already dead and Hoon is holding a knife. Hoon tries to explain that he is not the killer. But, she keeps silent and thinks for a moment. Then, she suddenly closes the door and the curtain of the class. Hoon still tries to convince her. But, Jung suddenly says that she believes that he is not a killer. She thinks that Hoon is smart, but only on school subjects. He is also not so dumb, to kill someone just because he hates his behavior. And Hoon strongly believes that he is an honest boy. So, he must not be the killer. But, she also says to him that he is the main suspect of Gyu's murder and also no one believed just from your words. Because of that, 
she will help Soon to find the real murder and find some evidence that he is not the killer. But, it is not as easy as it is. The killer must be prepared for this. She tries to illustrate and explain this murder to Hoon. Because the blood splashes on his table. You must have been killed when he was sitting and stabbed from behind. The blood stain is also on the laptop, because some area shaped of laptop is clean from the blood. And the laptop is also missing. So, it is actually the main reason why she doesn't believe that Hoon is the killer. Because his uniform doesn't have any blood splashes. The school is also full of CCTV on the outside. So, the killer must not be the outsider. Then, they decide to find the killer. Hoon is changing his clothes, while Jung is changing his hairstyle. It turns out that she is beautiful and Hoon is fascinated by her. They try to message some of their friends from another classroom to let them know if the teacher is leaving their classroom, so they can search while no one sees Gyu's body. The first thing that will lead them to the murder is the laptop. So, Hoon and Jung try to think how they can find Gyu's laptop. But, suddenly one of their classmates came. Hoon panics and tries to hold the door. But on the other hand, Jung is pulling his hand and kissing him. Her friend shocks and leaves them to do it in the class. They are lucky now. They start to find the laptop in the teacher's office. There is only a teacher, Byung. But, he looks very suspicious. Because of that, Hoon tries to fool the teacher by telling him the other teacher is calling him. At first, Byung doesn't believe it. But, because Hoon is the smartest student, he believes in him and leaves the office. Hoon and Jung quickly rummage through the drawers. They find that one of the drawers is locked. Hoon forced open it. There, they find Gyu's laptop with blood stains. Byung realizes that he got fooled, and runs back to the office. But it turns out that they managed to leave first. In the class, they find nothing suspicious in the files. Jung is thinking that Byung managed to delete the important file. Suddenly, Byung is there and looking for the laptop. He goes berserk and tries to take the laptop. They fight Byung back and manage to leave the classroom. Byung is chasing them around the corridor. Until they are on the rooftop. They cannot go anywhere again and the only way is to fight him. But, Byung tries to talk with them. He says that they might be thinking he is doing something foolish. Byung starts to explain everything to them. But, Hoon's best friend is there and hits the teacher hard, until he faints. Then, they continue their searching on the laptop. They try to recover the files that have been deleted by Byung. After waiting some time, the files have been recovered. Then, the truth is revealed. It turns out that Byung has a secret relationship with the other teacher. They even went to a hotel. Gyu caught them and was recording them. Gyu threatened them to share it over the school and made them viral. Because of that, Hoon is thinking that this is the motive of teacher Byung murdered Gyu. He feels free right now. But Jung feels something odd regarding the motive of the teacher. On the other hand, one of the teacher gets the order to call Hoon because of his achievements as a good student. When he arrives at the class, he gets stressed. Someone is dying in the classroom. Hoon goes back to the classroom to clean up everything and prepare to explain it to everyone. At class, he sees his teacher is sitting on the floor, holding the knife. Hoon tries to explain everything but it feels awkward for him. The teacher then asks him, is it hard to be number one? Do you feel depressed? He tells him that he also has a child. But, he died several years ago. And at the same date as today. He was a good student as well. Then, the teacher tells him that he is the one who is doing this. Not Hoon. He is trying to replace Hoon as the murderer because thinking that he is still too young and he reminds him to his child. So, he wants to sacrifice for him as the suspect. The teacher also makes up the story, so they have the same story and perspective. When he illustrates the fake scenario, a uniform button falls from Gyu's body. Hoon takes the button and leaves the teacher without any words. He runs to the rooftop again. He checks the teacher Byung's uniform. It turns out that the button is complete. So, it is not supposed to be Byung's uniform button. Expecting this, Jung takes the button and runs somewhere else, as they don't have much time left. Jung is thinking that teacher Byung is not the killer. He can take the laptop easily and there is no need to kill him. There must be someone else. Then, Jung remembers that Gyu's seatmate was poisoned last week. It seems to be related to this. She goes to him and asks by herself. Gyu's seatmate tells him everything about it. Gyu got a drink from a librarian. And because his seatmate loves her, he gave the drink. After several hours, Gyu's seatmate got poisoned and hospitalized. But now, he is fine. He also tells Jung that Gyu likes to talk about her. She is pretty. But, she is also like a harlot. 
Yu always laughs and teases her while at the library. He knows her well. Jung is heading to the library. There, Jung asks the librarian about who is the killer. She doesn't understand it, but seems not so confused. Then, someone else there. It turns out their teacher, Guk. He asks why she is here. Then, Jung's hand is shaking, while lifting the button. It turns out that teacher Guk's uniform's button is missing. Then, they realize that Jung already knows the truth. Guk tells her the story and the truth. It turns out that the librarian was making a video of herself and related to Gyu's father. That's the reason why Gyu knows her and says that she is a harlot. He also blamed her for her actions with his father. Teacher Guk just recently fell in love with the librarian. And they have a good relationship. But, she told teacher Guk that this punk is mocking and disturbing her all the time. She was very depressed. Because of that, teacher Guk admits that he kills Gyu and everyone who will interrupt their relationship. Then, he tries to stab Jung. Break editing. But, suddenly Hoon appears to hold teacher Guk. And they are fighting. Hoon and Jung run away from the teacher and try to trick the teacher. They are hiding in the library section. Suddenly, Hoon gets caught. But, Jung bites Guk's hand. Then, teacher Guk is still chasing them. Until Hoon gets stabbed on his stomach. Hoon couldn't go anywhere again. Teacher Guk is about killing Hoon. But suddenly, the break time has started. The students and another teacher go to the library and see teacher Guk is holding a knife and is about to stab his student. Everyone is shocked. At the same time, some students also go to Hoon's classroom and see Gyu is already dead. Everything is clear now. At the end of the movie, Hoon is hospitalized, but he is still working on his homework. Jung is visiting him and bringing a bucket of flowers. She looks very pretty. And they talk to each other. Jung suddenly throws his book and teases him. It ends up with, they are kissing. What do you think about this movie? Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.